Yeah, Silver Samurai, we're gonna look at you and your foe's fault in a little bit. Uh, cool. Got some Silver Surface Shards for Magnetic Mayhem, blah blah blah. No, no, we don't want any Misty Knight or Storm Shards, not for no 40 bucks. But what we are gonna do, we are gonna look at Silver Surface or Silver Samurai. We already have Silver Surfer in the game. Look at his Welcome to Shield. See what all characters we're going to be uh, needing to take care of the day one nodes, and then subsequently day two, day three, and all the way up till we get the legendary token down there. So, uh, let's so let's look at it. We got Colleen Wing, one of the daughters of the dragon. Uh, blue, red, and yellow user, and because she's a quote-unquote newer character, or more specifically, I don't have that much experience uh, using her that much, uh, we're going to actually go into my Colleen and actually look at her. I do know that she has a couple abilities that that become cheaper as long as Common Breath is on the board, so let's take a look at it. Alright, Common Breath, it's 5 AP move, uh, passively, uh, what she'll, well, look, we gotta look at the active and then the passive portion. So, actively, uh, she heals health, I mean, she heals herself, um, uh, for each friendly fortified strike attack or projectile on the board, uh, up to 33%, and that, and that's consistent at higher levels as well. Uh, then she creates a six turn fortif uh, fortified concentration tile up to three that for uh, that powers up her other abilities. And again, that's going to tie into her yellow and into her red as well. Uh, and then passively, uh, for each concentration tile on the board, again, max of three. Colleen's abilities cost two less AP, minimum of three. And then while the concentration tile exists, she can't be stunned and she doesn't take uh, damage from attack tiles. Well, since it's a one-on-one -on -one welcome to shield, obviously she can't be stunned. So, and I don't think Silver Samurai makes attack tiles when he jumps out in front, but that's, you know, for uh, another time. Alright, Flashing Blade is a red ability which costs nine but again it can get lower for the uh the concert uh for say for each one of those blue blue abilities he said she activates but anyway uh so she'll deal damage plus uh plus doubles the value of friendly strike tiles so if a strike tile is at 150 then it becomes 300 and then if there's any friendly concentration tiles on the board then you remove one and then you deal 50% additional damage. Alright. And then passively, uh, Colleen takes less damage from matches and abilities equal to the value of all friendly strike tiles. So if she has a strike tile that's 150, 300, you know, th th those are just two tiles right there. So unless you make. Uh, make matches that are that are equal to 450 she's she's just like nope or or it, it well it reduces the damage from whatever the abilities is so it would be like a, a plus four a plus 450 uh, buff to her so if you can you know get from like if you have an ability that does uh, a thousand damage uh, as long as she has those strike tiles that are you know like I said the value of 450 then it'll it'll end up doing uh, 550 and you have 550 damage instead instead of the full 1000 or whatever 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 I use as an example and finally, Heroes for Hires are yellow ability, which costs 10, but again, we know it gets cheaper, uh, whatever she fires off her blue. So, 
Um, passively, she does she deals ba uh, bonus smash damage for each heroes for hire on her team. Again, that includes Luke Cage, Misty Knight, Iron Fist. You know, for those for those that care. But her active ability, she creates a fortified strike tile and a protect tile with strength equal to the team's strongest match damage. So if if you have a character that has uh has like a thousand match damage, then those strike and protect tiles become a thousand. Essentially. And then it heals the team for a burst of health. And if there's any friendly concentration tiles on the board, you remove one, and then it creates an additional fortified strike tile, which I would imagine is going to be um, the same thing like um, like the strike tile that you had in Heroes for Hire. Uh, as far as affiliations, for those that care, Heroes, Heroes for Hire, Street Level, Team Iron Man, you know, so there's Colleen Wing there in a nutshell. So let's look at Silver Samurai. Uh, I already got the one uh, thanks to the, um, you know, the gift from the developers. But he is a red, black, and yellow user, similar to Apocalypse, similar to Old Man Logan, you know, blah, blah, blah. Alright, so his Tachyon Blade costs 7. Uh, it deals damage to the ta uh, to the target, destroys the selected column, and then deals damage for each enemy special tile destroyed. And destroyed tiles uh, don't do damage or generate AP, you know. But whatever cascades happen, you know, you get cascades from all that there. And then passively, um, Silver Samurai ignores damage for reduction from enemy protectiles. So. Colleen, she creates protectiles. Silver Samurai just says, just it's no warrior for hire. This is his yellow ability. This is the first time in a long time that I've seen uh, abilities under 5 AP. Uh, again, I've been playing long enough to remember um, where Spider Man 3 star, Spider Man uh, Classic. His blue ability was actually 3 AP, but granted, you have to, you had to meet conditions with web tiles in order to make that there a whole lot cheaper. So what it'll do, uh, he moves to the front, converting a random tile, prioritizing uh, enemy strike attack and protect tiles first, and then creates a three-turn countdown tile, targeting selected ally, and then while it's on the board. Uh, this increases Sim Silver Samurai's chance to block damage by 20%, and each time the protected ally would take damage, he would take. Is that he would jump out in front and take the damage instead? So essentially, this is a a watered down version of what Bishop and Four Star four star worthy cap would do as far as the jump in front mechanics or or even to a degree <laughs> some would say a better version of o a five star odin's jump in front mechanics though to be fair five star odin the less we say about him the better and then passively his uh teleportation ring passive is unlocked so we're probably not going to be using warrior for hire for it's a too much except for the uh, the conversion of the uh, enemy strike attack and protectiles and a teleportation ring cost seven it's both active and passive so let's see do 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 and freedom freedom past the flavor, flavor text uh next time silver samurai would uh, avoid evade or block damage counterattack deals 100% uh, increased damage and instills two red AP, and then passively, Silver Samurai has a chance to block his enemy strikes, taking only 30% of the damage. Whenever Silver Samurai evades or blocks damage, he counterattacks, still in dealing a list of damage to the target. So there's a chance for Silver Samurai just, just like, like, nah, I'm not taking this damage here, and if he does, you know. 
say nine taking his damage here then he'll counter attack for whatever this amount is but like i said we'll look at look at it uh, a little bit more uh, affiliations for those that care villains mutants mercenaries um you know for i should have said for hire too but whatever all right so i know a lot of people what well, i've seen on the uh on the subreddit that uh some people are having trouble with this here and I'm not gonna say I I understand or I don't understand. See there okay, there's a the teleportation ring, boom. There's a resistance to damage there, boom. Again, just gotta deny Colleen her blue and her red and all that good stuff there. And make sure she doesn't heal. So let's go ahead and take this match five. We'll be taking that black momentarily to match that blue. But let's fire up this tachyon blade. Or actually, no, nah, let's just... Uh... Do it like that. So that she didn't even... She didn't even get the opportunity to, to grab that. Alright. Ha! Ah, he's in the defensive stance. Nice. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. That is actually pretty cool. I, I like that there a lot. A little damage reduction. Alright, now there's a heal there for Colleen. Yeah, so, so you can't jump out in front. I mean, makes sense. Uh, let me see here. Let me get, get rid of some of them shenanigans there. Two enemy special tiles gone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let her set up this purple here so I can get the match five. Match five. Well, that was the plan to let her... To let it later to get the match five but yeah nope damage resistance mmm yeah cuz there's no real good valid matches and then I think the boy well they'll take purple pretty soon No, I'm just waiting on Colleen to, is it to maybe fire off a move? But I think teleportation ring might be the, might be the ideal move here, so that we can resist, fire back, counter attack, all that good stuff. Oh, tachyon blade, destroy that there. So yeah, so yeah, that fight there really wasn't wasn't that difficult uh you know like folks were like oh man say like, that's impossible to beat without whales it's like eh. or maybe the maybe the silver samurai fight itself is probably not that say probably impossible to defeat without whales but let's see here mm. Let's break up with Ghost Rider, why not? I said deal with deal with some counter attacks. Now now if 
If you're very observant, you'll understand why it is that I picked Ghost Rider, of all people. We'll let him take the match four in purple. Hopefully that'll settle the board down a little bit. We'll let him take that yellow, because it doesn't do it doesn't do anything too outrageous. Brian and Rubber still still too um still too expensive. Alright, let's see here. I'm trying to make sure that he's where is he? Oh yeah, yeah, he's 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 done enough. He's done enough. Yeah, so yeah, just go with, yeah, just literally go with penance there. Yeah. Now I know, granted, my, my Ghost Rider was at, it's like almost max champion, but still. One good penance there, as long as he didn't have that teleportation ring out, you know. Whatever, whatever. Alright, day one warm up using the uh the three star version of thor uh red yellow and green user red cost eight it'll transform basic tiles into basic yellow tiles deals damage to the opponent uh thunder strike is just yellow that it that deals damage to the target uh converts uh basic tiles to green tiles and then uh it costs i think i said it costs 12 if i didn't well i won't repeat myself again old age and then finally his green ability uh call the storm costs 14 stupidly expensive but what it does it'll deal damage to the entire team uh the person who's out in front gets dealt more damage uh, everybody else in the background gets dealt a little bit, a little bit less. And yeah, that's that's Thor pretty much in a nutshell. Uh, red, red links into yellow, yellow links into green. Smashing good time. Sadly though, we won't see that there too too much here. Uh, show your stuff. This is with Spider-Man. Nah, again. I didn't know that we were gonna be using Spider-Man. Like, this is that was totally, uh, totally a coincidence about me using Spider-Man and uh, talking about Spider-Man and cheap abilities. So Spider-Man Classic, which I have on his Hornet outfit, uh, that was given away to the uh, by the developers. Uh, yellow, blue, and um, purple user. Uh, he's a hero, just like. Uh, just like Thor, even though we're not using the the two-star version. But anyway, uh, Spider-Man's yellow ability costs 12, uh, deals damage to the target, will deal uh, even more damage if one of your allies is uh, is downed. Uh, the power is called when the going gets tough. Uh, Spider-Man's blue ability, uh, web ball, I think it is. It's like, but I know it's blue. It costs five. What it'll do? It'll it'll stun an enemy. Start stun the enemy who's in front for one turn, and then create a the web tile. And then, as long as you have web tiles on the board, uh, the stuns will be progressively longer. So if you have two web tiles on the board, it's a two turn stun. If you have three web tiles, it's a three turn stun, and that's the max it'll it'll get. Because uh, back in the day, Spider-Man used to be uh, a little bit ridiculous with his stuns, to say the least. Uh, three AP stun uh, with the web top with the web tiles, and then you you paired him up with someone like uh, 
like old school three star Magneto. What I mean by old school, because he actually had the ability to convert uh, uh, convert tiles uh, to blue, similar to his uh, two star uh, version. But he also had a purple ability as well. Again, I've been playing the game for way too long to remember that there. And then finally, uh, Spider Man's purple ability, um, Spider Sense, it's passive. It'll, uh, anytime we make a match with purple, uh, we create a purple protectile, and that protectile will become even stronger, uh, if we happen to have web tiles on the board, and there's a, a maximum limit of how many protectiles we can have on the board. Uh, as far as affiliations with Spider-Man goes, Heroes, Avengers, Spider-Verse, blah, 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 you know. It matters, but it doesn't matter. Let's get this one turn. Well, I was going to say get this one turn. One turn kill done with Thanos, but. And we get a chance to showcase Spider Man off for a second. If I just switched to the Tisatsu. Yeah, that would have been uh, one, one and done. Uh, I'm honestly surprised that with Silver Samurai that we didn't use uh, more X-Men related characters like Psylocke or Three Star Wolverine. Well, I mean, we still got these two nodes here to join forces. Uh, the Toughen Up node, which is usually tougher. There we go. There's one of our X-Men right there. Uh, all new Wolverine. Uh, she is uh, red red purple and green user I, I should know this here because I use her I use her a lot uh, I'm just trying to find find her brother real quick I know I got a ways to go uh, don't tell me to just scroll past him I think I did Deadpool where hmm Give me a second, y'all. Purple, blue, black. I'm about to say, I can't. There we go. There's Akihiro. Alright. Uh, so, Lord, like I said, green, red, purple. Though I probably said the order and all reverse, whatever. Uh, her green ability is called Berserker Rage. What it'll, it's a 9 AP move. Well, hang on. It's an 8 AP, well, once a 9 AP move, then when you fire off the ability again, once you meet the conditions, it's a it's an 8 AP move. But it, or is it 9? I d let's double check and see. Holding back. It's 8, then 8. Okay, that's what it is. So... So holding back, what it'll do, it will deal damage to the target as long as we don't have at least nine red AP. Once we hit the nine red, red AP trigger, this ability becomes uh, Berserker Rage for the rest of the fight. And then what Berserker, well, Berserker Fury, Berserker Rage, whatever, what it'll do, it'll deal damage to the target and then creates two black strike tiles of the listed strength. Now again, she's max champion, so so you know it's gonna do a con a considerable amount of damage. Now again, is her green better than than uh say like, than her her dad's? You know, hey, I value board shakes more sometimes more than pure raw damage. Sometimes savage healing. It's her passive. What it does if you match any of her her colors. Well, if she's the one matching her colors. So if she's matching red, green, or purple, then she will heal for for whatever the listed amount um it is. So so what is it? 30, 33, 30, 13, 39. So yeah, so it's a true heal at higher levels. Uh, even more healing. And then tracking prey is her. It's a purple ability. Uh, it costs 12. It gets cheaper if you have strike tiles on the board. That's why I brought in her brother. Uh, for this here, 
so it, so there's a purple trap tile like I said that's created on the board uh, if the purple trap tile happens to be matched by the enemy then it'll do damage and also create a um, yeah it'll, it'll just do damage yeah and then it creates a uh, yeah, it just does damage, but if we make if we make the match, then we do less damage, but we create a black strike tile uh, for whatever the listed amount is, and like I said, it gets cheaper for each friendly strike tile on the board. So yeah, I said I always like I said I always conflate the uh, and say the two vert is a if we match the strike tile, does it create the I mean the trap tile does it create the strike tile or vice versa? But yeah. There it is. Uh, as far as affiliations goes, heroes, uh, mutants, weapon X enhanced. I don't know why she's weapon X, but I mean, okay. Yeah, let's throw on this costume here. Why not? Since we're uh, we're all costumed up. All right. Let's see here. So we'll get her healing off here. As well as our heroes. Cool. I never knew I never knew that was the an animation for Pheromone Rage. I never knew that there. Is that that say that was uh that's his chemical reaction animation i'm like wow i'm like huh akihiro got animations now i know what healing heat sounds like there that is that's it because that that really is throwing me off seeing him throw out strike tiles it's like pew 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 I don't worry we're gonna fire off tachyon blade in a minute let's hope we can get stuff a little bit cheaper there we go. Now we'll be able to fire off her, uh... Fire that there off. Fire off Tachyon Blade. Get a quick heal off. Ah, you scumbag. Oh, well. Oh, wow. He actually has a... Wow, they actually gave him a new animation for... Is a for, um... Is a for chemical reaction. Wow. Again, it goes to show you, uh... How long it's been since I played with animations on. Or seen Dawkins animations more specifically. Fire off tracking prey. So cool. So I learned something new today. Dawkins actually has, at least a three star Dawkins, has animations for his, uh, for all of his all of his stuff so cool all right and then finally day one test the skill ah black widow okay so we're going into the to the whole deception thing okay so she is a purple red and black user as i'm going to go and find um russian captain america because 
there's some chicanery with them. Okay. Alright, so her purple abilities tell me everything. Cost 12, uh, deals damage to the target, and then removes up to three random uh, image strike, attack, protect, countdown, or repeater tile. So, again, that'll be useful tomorrow. And then it costs one AP less for each enemy countdown tile on the board. Minimum cost of seven. Uh, this here needs to be. I think if they do a rework, the damage needs to be increased, and the power cost needs to be decreased. Keep everything else. Acrobatic takedown. This here costs twelve. This is another move that needs to be uh, rebalanced. Um, it deals damage to the to the target, and if the enemy has at least 12 AP in any uh, AP pool, it deals additional damage. And then if this ability downs an opponent, then destroys six enemy AP in a random pool. Uh, again, you can do some do some stuff with this here. Um, I would say a better takedown needs to be is maybe a nine AP move, nine or ten. Uh, you can keep the keep the damage, uh, lower the threshold about the uh, about the damage in any uh, I mean the 12 AP in any AP pool. Uh, make it similar to Yelena's, like if they have seven or eight AP, uh, and then uh, instead of it uh, dealing damage, uh, it could. It's a, it steals AP and all AP. I mean, steals AP and all colors except for you know that AP pool there. And then you can keep the. It's like if it down if it downs an enemy, you know, it deals uh, additional dam. It's like it deals damage to um to two to two random enemies or whatever. And then finally, ran in my ledger. This here costs 12. Uh, deals damage. Uh, if any allies are below 20% health, then steal four random AP and do, then deal extra damage. And then passively, whenever one of black allies, black allies. Yes, we need more black allies. But one of uh, Black Widow's allies is stunned and stun a random enemy for one turn. Uh, now you're like, wait, what stuns? Huh? We'll get into it in a minute. Uh, this one here, I think you can probably still keep it at 10. Uh, and probably increase the uh, the health threshold. Uh, again, I wouldn't care about the stealing random AP. You know, deal the extra damage, but uh, spread it up against multiple targets. And then keep the whole stun, stun stuff. Uh, as far as affiliations goes, heroes, Avengers, team cap, shield, bread room, for all that, for all that care. Again, that's just me spitballing ideas. Now, could it? Is it now, devs could probably do something a whole lot better, but you know. Okay, now, like I mentioned about uh, about a stun, you're like. Like, why in the world are you bring a Red Guardian up in here? Well, doesn't Red Guardian have a have a stun ability with close quarters? It's like as long as he's stunned, so you stun the stun the target and then, or you stun stun somebody randomly. Yeah, it stuns the target and then if you got projectiles on the board, does other shenanigans. So yeah. I don't know where we're gonna fire off tachyon, tachyon blade in a minute. All right, there's Iron Will. That's gonna move, move around the country. As they would say with the uh, Motel 6 commercials. Alright, uh, let's see here. Let's t get, her, get them to tell me everything. Destroy those countdown tiles. Fire off red in my ledger. 
That'll down. Close quarters. Boom. There you go. There's And there's the additional stun right there. From Black Widow. And then we could just, we literally can just do it again. Again, we're not really worried about about any shenanigans that they're gonna do. Not yet, because assassins should be done uh, pretty soon. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go that way. All right, just just in case. All right. That's it. Just in case, Black Widow, you're gonna be taking damage real quick. Boom. Nope. <laughs> All right, now. I said that was actually pretty useful using Sam Silver Samurai to uh, deflect some damage and I ain't gonna say instantly down somebody, but you know, close enough. Alright, couple more matches and we're almost we're almost home free. Teleportation ring's not gonna do us any good not right now. But this will close quarters. Let's get that stun. Sadly red in my ledger doesn't doesn't uh work when there's you know multiple I mean, it was when it's only down to one enemy, so yeah. Alright, let's see here. Tell me everything red in my ledger. Yeah, that's probably. Probably the plays here. So yeah, there we go. So there's uh, Welcome to Shield Day One, pretty much done in a nutshell. Um, Silver Samurai and foes, uh, as per usual, a opportunity for a guaranteed cover. Silver Samurai, same with uh, X23, a random four star. You know your assortment of heroics, legendaries, uh, elites, and support tokens, guaranteed covers a opportunities for guaranteed covers of spider-man random assortment of four star i mean three stars uh guaranteed opportunities for for thor's random assortment of two stars you know isolate all that good stuff there so let's get all these here pulled out real quick there's rocking and Groot, and captain marvel Fan favorites vault. So this has been going on for I think since Thursday, I think. But anyway, opportunity opportunities to get uh you know, fan favorites for um for the game. So everything from Polaris to shards for 
both Kane the Conqueror and Mighty Thor Jane Foster, the five star version. Uh, three stars, four star. I mean, well, three stars, four stars, heroics. Uh, legendary tokens, mighty tokens, ISO 8, red ISO 8. So there's that. And then finally, excuse me, uh, the the main attraction, the fan favorite's vault, which is that you got uh, as a recording, three days, eight hours. So opportunities to get uh, either Shang-Chi, Beta Ray Bill, or Kitty Pride, and then better odds of getting uh, the, the quote-unquote fan favorite four stars which include America Chavez, Captain Marvel, Deadpool, Ghost Rider, Juggernaut, Karnak, Medusa, Moon Knight, Peggy Carter, Polaris, Rocket and Groot, and X-Force Wolverine, and then you know normal odds for everybody else. Uh, I did, did a couple pulls up in here uh, off camera. I got uh, Got a couple kitty kitty pride covers. I think that's it because I didn't get anything of Shang Shang Chi or a Beta Ray Bill. Uh, but I did get some Polaris stuff, you know, which you know, mine's is Max Champ, but whatever. So uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, we'll be back at it tomorrow with uh, Crash the Titans. It'll probably be up later later than usual. And then we'll do uh, day two of um, Welcome to Shield, where we where we deal with the hard note. So yeah, uh, no, be excellent, fellow human beings, and I'm gonna get me something to eat. Peace.